Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Now let's see Bandit 26. So they're saying, good job getting a shell. Now hurry up and grab password for Bandit 27. So if you have saved the previous password, so you have to log in through that. So we are facing the same issue. So what we need to do is we need to do the same thing like we did before. We set shell equals bin bash shell. So this is how we need to get the shell so once we get the shell so what they are saying good job getting a shell now hurry up and get the password for bandit 27 so the clue they have given is ls so let's use ls so we got a couple of these things with this we already know we have seen in the previous video this is just the text if you see text so that's that and uh, if you type ls hyphen l you will see these things okay these are file permissions you see an s here which means the users who have executable permissions like this or here there can be x okay so those users can run this file with the permissions of bandit 27 which is the user okay which is the user here bandit 26 can run the file as bandit 27 so that's what this s means okay and uh, let me run the bandit 27 so it is saying example okay and then id so id is a command okay we are just we can just simply use the commands okay id it will say bandit 26 is the user and effective user is bandit 27 okay let's see and uh, if you use bandit27 you can directly get the password using cat command bandit underscore pass bandit27 so this is fairly easy all you need to do is understand this set user id permissions right okay